Hey everyone, it's Mikeware, and I'm back here to show you the minecart station and the previous minecart video I did there. Um, improved a little bit to make it a little bit more compact on the back and have uh, a couple of little caveats to share with you, but uh, in case you didn't see it, you step in here, uh, you can get blocked in. If you want, you can add another row of blocks in here to uh, to really trap the player in, but you just hop in the minecart and you automatically get launched off. Sometimes I've noticed you do take the little point of damage there, um, but uh, not always. Um, and then, uh, so hopefully that's not too big of a deal, but then uh, the minecart goes automatically back. We've got the light here to indicate that we've got minecarts. So, uh, it's uh, not the most compact uh, station available, but it certainly is really compact and also pretty and uh, very functional. Um, so hopefully this is uh, going to be interesting of you, for you. Uh, here I show that this used to extend a couple more blocks out, so I compacted that up. So one thing to note is that this particular design is uh, for south and east only. And that's because uh, when you get out of a minecart or the activator rail uh, boots you out. It's the same process. It just uh, basically mimics you pressing shift. Uh, in the south and east direction, it kicks you backwards. But in the north and west directions, it kicks you forward. Um, luckily, there's a little adjustment we can do in this case um, to, to fix that, uh, which I'll show with the build over uh, there at the other end. But uh, it's a little frustrating. I find that uh, you know, if you you have to think about which direction you're building things uh, with minecarts to get it to behave the same way, it should really all be consistent. Um, so there's a couple of bugs around this. Um, one that I filed recently for consistency. The uh, I discovered this uh, when I was trying to build this station in another direction, uh, testing over there. Um, the other case is uh, when there's other blocks around you and you get out. Um, so uh, I'll put links to those in the description. Anyway, here's everything you'll need to build this. Eight powered rails, six regular rails, uh, and one of these, uh, sorry, one of these extra rails is because uh, for the northwest, so in the southeast you should only need five. Uh, detector rail, activator rail, uh, you'll need a minecart and dispenser, a couple hoppers, a couple stacks of uh, stone bricks, uh, you need uh, 21 redstone, block of redstone, uh, cactus, glass, glass panes, three repeaters, uh, and then all this stuff on the bottom, the sticky piston, the extra repeater, and redstone, the comparator, redstone lamp, uh, the signs and the glowstone are all the optional components you can add if you uh, so desire. So I'm going to take this stuff up here, and we're going to get started. So the first thing you want to start with is the unpowered rail entering the station. And um, in this case, in the northwest cases, um, that's not going to be the start of your actual building. Um, it's going to be the detector rail. Now in the south and east directions, the building starts uh, with the unpowered rail. So that's that's the difference there. Um, and then we're going to dig underneath here. Oops. Shouldn't have uh, given myself such a good pick for this, but uh, we're going to stick some redstone underneath here. So this is to pick up the signal from the detector rail. And we're going to just route it back here. And uh, this is going to let us um, close up the side of the building here so we can have this flush but still get this signal back. And we're going to take this signal to an activator rail. And that's what's going to um, kick us out of the minecart. And so we need to use a repeater to push the signal through the block to the activator uh, without showing the uh, redstone here. So this uh, signal will get from the detector rail, so you'll see if I put the minecart on here, the uh, activator rail triggers, 
so that's good. Whoops. Well, uh, let's see, minecart goes right back into the station. So, <laughs> I'll go retrieve it later. And so yeah, this is basically the the system that kicks you out, and that's all you need. So in the north and west directions, you need to lay this extra piece of track here. Um, if you're in a south and east, basically this all shifts over, and uh, you'll this will be the starting with the unpowered rail in the building, and going to here uh, instead with the activator rail. Um, and so that's that's the difference for the for the the directions there, um, and so this is going to be our exit here um, to the platform, and uh, then we're going to have two blocks, and then that's the entrance from our uh, departure station there. And we're going to take a, another piece of track and a powered rail here. We want to make sure that this curved piece goes towards the cart return that we'll build a little bit later. Um, so that's an important step there. Then we're just going to play, place another regular piece of rail there. Uh, so the other thing I want to get going here is the um, pressure plate so that um, you can have this block pop up and block the player in if you desire. So I'm going to grab that pressure plate. That's just going to stick right there. And we need to route the signal underneath here. So uh, this redstone is going to pick it up and it's going to send it over to the other repeater here and the sticky piston. So basically these, oops, we want to make sure that's facing up. There we go. So these three components are optional if you don't want to trap players in, um, but it's a kind of a good thing to do so that once they summon a mine cart, uh, which the other that's the other part of the pressure play that it does, that it can't just run away and they leave. So uh, we can start covering this up. Uh, there we go. So that's our pressure plate. And we have to use a powered rail here. So this is what's going to stop the minecart from continuing down the track before we get on it, and also launch us on our way automatically. And we have to put another rail on top here, um, and then break it and do so without uh, try doing that without my pick, uh, so that it's a little. There we go. Won't break the blick. So, by putting the track on top here, it slants this powered rail, which is important for us because that's going to give us the boost we need to get started. And uh, let's. Uh, so, we need a couple blocks back here. And this is where our dispenser is going to go to launch the minecarts. So we put that there, and so if I had the minecart, I'd put it in here. But that's gonna what that's gonna trigger uh, when we step on the pressure plate here. So we have to I'm gonna use a repeater, and we're going to uh, bring this. Oops, don't need to go so far back. I'm gonna bring this down here. So now we hook up the redstone, and on the other side, we're going to negate this signal with a redstone torch. So we just put that on this side, and put a redstone here and another repeater. So what this does is, you'll notice this repeater powers this block, which then powers the powered rail. So um, when we're stepping on the pressure plate, it pushes up the piston. It's going to dispense a minecart from the dispenser. You heard the click there. But uh, it also turns off this powered rail, so that's what leaves the cart there. And as soon as we hop in the cart, the powered rail turns back on and that sends us on our way. And so that's what this system here is, is doing. Um, when we step on the pressure plate, this line turns on, it dispenses one minecart, um, but then turns this torch off, which turns the powered rail off. And as soon as we hop in the minecart, uh, this goes back to the way it was, and powers the rail, and off we go. So, that's pretty much the dispenser 
uh, uh, the departure and arrival systems. So we can build this up a bit here. And one thing to note is that we need uh, three height within the building itself. Um, and that's to ensure that we have enough room to get kicked off by the activator and it uh, can place us in an appropriate spot. And you can also use the glowstone up here above the entrance uh, to help light it. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing over here. There you go. Okay, and then we also need another block. Um, we need some other blocks over here near the dispenser, so we'll get to that too. Uh, I just wanted to put in the glass panes. And so this is to prevent you from walking down the track or for mobs getting in. And then you also need them uh, over here on this side. And that's to prevent you from going to the departure area. So when the activator kicks, you'll just get sent right here. Uh, but we need to make sure we put blocks on the other side for that to happen. Uh, We'll get to that a little bit later. So the other thing we can do here is we can put the detector light. And so we use the comparator for that. This is another one of those optional components. So we just put the comparator and the redstone lamp. And now if something is in the dispenser, the lamp will be on. So these will be actual mine carts, uh, not a piece of sand. So that uh, gives us the indicator that it's ready to go and you can just uh, hide this uh, with bricks and just be part of your system. And then on the other side of the dispenser is where we put the hoppers. So you want to be able to actually shift click on this side of the dispenser and so that's going to point this hopper to feed the minecarts back into the dispenser and then you want to shift click on the top so you have a hopper feeding a hopper into the dispenser. So this is going to give you some extra minecart storage and help us uh, hide the and compact the retrieval system a bit. Um, and then on top of the dispenser is where you want to place the sand so you want to shift click there and we're going to um, place a brick right here. So you this won't brick won't obstruct you when you first hop in the mine cart. Um, but uh, we want to uh, hide the open space above here. Um, and we can't put a block right up here because that's going to destroy the cactus when we put right next to it. So let me start uh, hopping up here. Can finish off the front side of our building. So this is where the cactus goes and I'm going to use these panes of glass to prevent us from getting hurt by it. And I'm going to put another piece of glass here and I want to do the same on this side. And this is just going to help uh, feed the minecarts that break from the cactus into the hopper. So. We're going to uh, shift click the top of this hopper to put a powered rail and it'll uh, connect up to that powered rail down there. Uh, so that's the last step to, for us to build. And uh, this is going to point the other way obviously. So let me hop down here and uh, take this up here. So basically we're just going to um, use this other powered rail and start building this upwards. And that's what the redstone block is for, is to actually power the rest of this um, track here. So this will automatically power that one. I'm going to put the curved block here and whoops, the other goes there. So that way we can finish connecting our powered rail. Uh, one thing to note is we do need a block here and that's because of the new minecart physics so if we didn't have this block it would go flying off the track. Um, and we can just put uh, a 
another one there. Uh, oh no, we can't. Actually, we don't need that because what we need to do is um, remove this block. We're going to put some redstone here, and this is going to go power this section of track, and it's isolated from this because of the repeater. And then the other part is to go connect it um, up here. And there we go. That's the rest of our redstone. This is going to power this top section. It's uh, and I'm realizing that I can actually compact this a little bit more. <laughs> Uh, that's kind of the funny thing with redstone is as you use it more and more you, you start realizing how to be more efficient with it. Oh, and that's the reason why I can't do it. So that's another interesting attribute of redstone is that sometimes it'll connect to source blocks to give it power, but then to power things it won't automatically curve. So this one's just going straight and powering this the side of this block rather than powering the power grid. And so that's why we actually have to pull uh, the wire all the way over and up. And there we go. So little mini redstone lesson. I was like, I can compact this, but no. That's uh, pretty much how it works. So redstone block powers this side. And then we draw the redstone wire to power this and this. And we want to make sure we fill in all the holes. Now this block is important here. We only want the one high gap to let the carts through. Um, if you don't put this here, especially in the north and west directions, you'll jump through the glass panels we put on the other side of this uh, this wall, so you'll jump through here into the departure area rather than staying in the arrival area. So we don't have any minecarts, as we can see. Um, so I'm going to just go over to the other station. Uh, oh, I can't forget my signs, so that's another little touch you can do. Departures and arrivals. Okay, so. We'll see that there are lights on in this minecart station, so we can hop a ride. And if you look in the dispenser, it had the other minecart that was there before. You can just hop into this one. And off we go. And of course, I hopped through. I've tested this. You know, this has happened to me a couple times now, and I keep testing it. And every time I think I've got it fixed, it happens again. Um, so yeah, so this is the bug about the difference in directions and how these activators worked. And I thought that this was going to be all fixed. Um, so hopefully we can get Mojang to fix the bug um, so that we don't have to continually find little workarounds for these sorts of things. As you can see, it works fine in this direction. I stop here, and you see the cart comes back for a second before it gets the energy to go back up the hill. That's uh, because of the compact uh, new design for the station, but it's pretty harmless. And then here, you know, this was working fine before. It seems like every time I build this thing, it works a little differently. And I'm trying to think why this is the case now. Um, so this is just how I had it built before, and it was working fine. Um, going to replace activator. Got the panels there. So it should just kick me back. All right, we'll try one more time and uh, see what happens. But I've been uh, trying a few different things uh, to tweak that and uh, make it work okay. But um, it 
really is just an inconsistency with how minecarts work and how you get ejected. Um, I wonder if I break these and re put them down, if that would help. Um, <sighs> it's just a frustrating uh, thing when you come up with something and you're like, ah, it works. Great. There we go. I'll give myself a couple of these and I'll give myself some more. And okay, so I've got this all set up the way I did before. So this should work fine. Okay. At least it was. It did work at one point. I don't know if I was recording at that point. I have a video of it working, but Just curious now if I move these glass panes because I mean you as a player you go right through them so um, it shouldn't matter when you leave here um, but I'm wondering if the algorithm that determines where to drop you off will be affected if there's more stuff in the way there there we go aha so that works so looks a little bit more reliable if you put the glass panes above the return chute. Let me see if breaking those works. So, Live debugging, but uh, I know not everyone shows debugging like that in their videos, but it's an interesting part of playing this game and figuring these contraptions out. So you just have to kind of keep going and trying things until it works. So. Perfect, there we go. So for northwest, um, you have to make two adjustments. You shift the placement of these rails um, so that the powered rail starts outside and you add this extra rail here. Um, and then you move the glass panes from directly by the exit to here so the user has to figure out, you know, the player has to figure out that they have to walk a little bit back to get to the exit. Um, I suppose alternatively you could put the exit door here. We can try this quickly. Uh, so it'll be a little bit asymmetric, but uh, again that's for the northwest directions. You saw the power rail turn on as we went over the activator. You can see here the southeast configuration. We start the power rail on the inside and then have the activator here. Uh, so it's the same spacing between the detector and activator, but then the pane's here and the exit's right here, so it's a little bit more um, straightforward. And in this case, yeah, this still works. So yeah, you can move the door over too, and so the northwest will be a little bit um, skinnier here, and then the southeast will be that one. So hope the uh, live debugging was useful, but uh, it's uh, part of the how the game works with the minecarts behaving differently in different directions. But I think that the ejection uh, code for when you dismount uh, minecarts works the same for like horses and boats and all those things. So it'd be nice if they were all consistent. So um, if you are into uh, reporting bugs and voting for issues and stuff, you can comment on the bugs in the Minecraft uh, database there. And I put those links below. So thanks uh, for watching and hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time. Bye.